gotta feed the girls. We're back to our garden plot today and checking out our transplants. The arnica looks happy. Chamomile's looking good. Lavender's happy. Our black-eyed Susans and Echinacea are kind of getting nibbled on by some sort of critter. Not sure what bug's nibbling on them. Spread some DE down if it doesn't rain. And it looks like some of our, I think this is bachelor buttons, they're coming up. And zinnias. Yeah, those are my zinnias. Coming up. Yarrow. Fever Fuse doing pretty good. Calendula. And our marshmallow is doing all very well. Also, our carrots that we planted along our tomatoes are starting to pop up for us. The main reason we're here tonight, though, is to plant our green beans and purple potted beans along our trellis here. All right, so what we're gonna be focusing on planting tonight are our trellised pole beans. Last year we grew this purple potted bean and we really, really liked it and we actually seed saved a lot of that variety. So we'll be planting a couple of the previous year's seeds and some that we saved last year. And then we also are gonna try this old homestead green bean to see what we think of it this year. So we're gonna be kind of growing green on one side of the trellis and purple on the other side of the trellis. Then underneath it, while the, these are still climbing, we're gonna grow a crop of bush green beans. On this variety, we've just had the seed for a long time, so we're just gonna overseed it, see how it works, and get a crop of green beans in the center so that we don't have to worry about weeding that area. So we changed our mind while we were planting and determined that two rows of beans might be a little bit excessive for the two of us. So we decided on the other side to bring out our Cherokee Trail tear beans and have some drying beans on the other side of the trellis. Like we did on the other side, we're going to plant a bush black bean alongside the climbing black bean to get a harvest in before the other ones have climbed up. So as you can see, we have garlic kind of in the middle of our trellis. That is on purpose. It's not like we forgot what we were doing. We originally had our beds kind of market style in tight rows, with narrow pathways, but I decided that I wanted a little bit more space to work. I didn't want to have be restricted to a certain shape or a single row. So we're reorientating our garden the other direction and changing the direction of different items because last year we discovered we were shading things a lot with corn. It just wasn't set up for climbing crops that would shade other things. So we're just reorienting everything this year. The garlic will be coming out um, late May or so. It's starting to turn yellow on us. So once that's out, it'll look more normal in here. So with potatoes, they continue to grow more potatoes along the leaf nodules of the stem. So if you bury the stem up as it continues to grow, that will enable more potatoes to grow on the plant itself. We're going to be planting corn in this area right here, so we're going to clean it up a little bit and hopefully tomorrow we'll have a little bit of time to plant our popcorn. We grow rainbow popcorn every year and I'll have a link below on how we've mixed our own variety. All right, 
right, we got our popcorn area prepped and ready for hopefully planting tomorrow. We'll have to rake some of that grass out, but hopefully some of it will just dry in the sun tomorrow. We have a lovely volunteer sunflower that we're going to leave there. As you can see along the outside edge, we do have some onions that we planted back in the early winter. Those will be bulbing up in a couple weeks. So those will remain there like the garlic uh, for a few more weeks and we'll pull them out and the popcorn will take over. Try to feed the girls. He doesn't mean me. 